Hey, boys and girls, it's Pastor Daryl, back for another chapter of Bedtime Stories with Pastor Daryl. Hey, how did your day go today? Did it go pretty good? Did you enjoy? Did you get a chance to go outside and spend some time playing in the sunshine? Did you play with your siblings or spend time with your parents? Yeah. Did you play in your rooms or play with some of your toys or read some books? Yeah. How about this? Did you eat? What? Why would Pastor Darrell ask you a weird question if you ate? Of course, Pastor Darrell, I ate. Well, tonight's book is kind of about food. So that's why I wanted to ask if you ate today. As a matter of fact, let me ask you this. Do you have a favorite food? What is your favorite food? Oh, spaghetti? Ooh, I like spaghetti too. Potato chips? Ooh, the saltier, the better. What? Now you're speaking Pastor Daryl's language. Hot and spicy chicken wings. Mm, that sounds so yummy. Oh, there's all kinds of favorite foods out there. I thank you for sharing some of those favorite foods with me. You know what? I have some favorite foods too. One of my favorite foods is macaroni and cheese. Oh, I love macaroni and cheese. The kind my mom makes and the kind that comes in the blue box. I like both kinds. But we could talk about food forever, but we're here for a bedtime story. So tonight's book, without further ado, is about tacos on a Tuesday that are liked, no rather loved, by dragons. Here we go. Here's tonight's bedtime story. Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin, illustrated by Daniel Salmiri. Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's a smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? But wait! As much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles, and when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, check. Lettuce, check. Cheese, check. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. Hey dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like big gigantic parties with accordions and tiny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. The 
the only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos, pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations! It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy... Wait a second. What are those little green things in that salsa? You didn't read the fine print. Totally mild salsa. Now with spicy jalapeno peppers. <laughs> dragons! Dragons, listen to me! Do not eat those tacos! Those little green specks in the salsa? Those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you're not gonna love those tacos! Do not let those tacos eat those... Do not let those dragons eat those tacos! Crunch. 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 Mm. <gasps> Too late! <laughs> Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. After all, dragons love tacos. Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin, illustrated by Daniel Salmiri. Well, boys and girls, I don't know about you, but I think it's wise not to give spicy stuff to dragons because it kind of makes everything burn down. So, but I guess it's good because dragons were willing to rebuild stuff if there's taco breaks because they love tacos. <laughs> Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed tonight's bedtime story. That's one. That's another favorite here at the Peters household. So, but it is bedtime. It's time to climb under your covers, put your head on your fluffy pillow, and get ready to go to bed tonight. I hope you brushed your teeth, and if you get a chance to pray with your parents, that would be really good. But I would love an opportunity just to pray for you here tonight. So, boys and girls, if you can bow your heads and close your eyes. Let me close tonight's bedtime story with a prayer. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for loving us. We thank you for being uh, in, in, in charge and knowing that we can look to you for guidance and wisdom and you bring peace and grace and patience to us. Thank you for that. Lord, continue to watch over our boys and girls. Give them a sweet night's sleep. Let them dream some fun dreams and let them wake up refreshed for a new day. Be with their moms and dads and their brothers and sisters and their families. 
We pray you protect them and that you watch over them. Jesus, again, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for teaching us how to love you and how to love others. Help us to do that every day. Thanks, Jesus. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful night's sleep tonight. We'll be back soon for another bedtime story. Until then, good night. <laughs>